In this demonstration we're going to look at importing data into an Exchange Mailbox database. So in some scenarios what you'll want to do is export data from a user's database or you might want to import the data into the user's database. So a couple of reasons why we might want to do this. We might want to do this because we want to import data from a PST file from a legacy application or what we might want to do here is we might actually want to export some data and we may want to export that for legal reasons. So what I've done here is I've logged in as my user here, user named Aiden. And what we can see in the case of Aiden here, if we have a look in his in-place archive, there's no data currently in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the PowerShell or the Exchange Management Shell to actually import some data from a PST file. Right, so in order to do that, what I need to do is just move across to my mailbox server. So what we'll do is we'll just change screens. And on my mailbox server here, I'm just going to go to the Exchange Management Shell. And then from the Exchange Management Shell, what we'll do here is we'll just issue the command that will allow us to import the data. That's so all we'll do here is we'll just expand this up a bit and we'll just clear the screen just to make it a little bit easier to read. So the first thing we need to do here is just set up the management role. So I've done my new hyphen management role assignment, hyphen role, mailbox import export, and I'm assigning that to administrator. So we'll hit end at this point here. And as we can see, we've now assigned that role. So the next thing to do is to actually do our import. So what we've typed in here is our new hyphen mailbox import request, hyphen mailbox and it's Aiden, information store archive and then the file path here is londc1 which is where I've stored the file and I have a file called mailbox export backup.pst. Right, so what we can see now is you can see it's actually doing the import so it's queued this up. So what we'll do is we'll leave it a couple of minutes just to make sure that the queue has actually cleared and the import has occurred. So at this point here, I'll just pause the demonstration video and we'll return back once the import has completed. Right, we've left a couple of minutes now. So what we'll do here is we'll just clear the screen. And what I'll now issue is I'll just issue a little command that will actually get me some information about the request. So what we'll do here is we'll just run the get hyphen mailbox import request. Hit the enter key. And we can now see it's now completed. So the next thing to do here is just go back to our client access server and check an Outlook web app to ensure that it has actually imported the data. So back on our client access server, what we can now see is we now have the send items folder has been imported. So if we just click on the send items, and what we can see here is we have actually imported that PST file. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration of importing data into our Exchange Mailbox. Thank you.